Hi, thanks for watching another video from WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. This video is about a little MIG welding technique that I picked up about over 20 years ago from an old timer in South Carolina and I've been using it ever since. And basically it is just making a series of U's or cursive E's or small loops or whatever you want to call it. Uh, in your mind's eye you just try to make the same distance loop every time. And on a lap joint uh, you watch the top of the puddle or the side of the puddle that the edge of the metal is on and you just kind of use it for a guideline and just barely let the puddle nip that corner just a little bit and that'll give you a nice straight uh, border on your weld and a better looking better looking weld because you won't be melting all that corner in and, and putting extra metal in uh, to the weld size. Alright, the technique uh, looks something like this. You need to kind of in your mind's eye intentionally loop the same distance each time. All right, that was left to right. I'm just going to that was kind of pulling the puddle. This is going to be kind of pushing it a little bit. You can't see the puddle very well, but I just wanted to show you that there's not a lot of difference in the final result. Pushing, pulling. As long as you don't get carried away with the gun angle, and as long as your stick out's good and your heat's good, you can make either one work. Been a lot of argument over pushing and pulling. They both work. All right. So there are some differences in you know some subtle differences in penetration and everything. But sometimes you have to weld right to left. Sometimes you have to weld left to right. Sometimes things are in your way. Same technique. Same exact technique works both ways. There's a T joint. I'm going to do the same thing here. Now you'll notice here the stick out's a little long. That's because I was trying to weld around a camera and I couldn't really see it that well. But uh, you'll see when. Uh, when the uh, lens is lifted, it's a, it's a pretty good result anyway. So it's pretty forgiving if you have if you have everything else set up right. See that looks familiar. Same technique, just barely loop back into the puddle. Works on multi-pass welds just as well as single-pass welds. Anything horizontal, overhead, flat. Another little tip tip for you: if you want to pick up your travel speed, don't overlap into the puddle and just uh, pause slightly at the top and uh, make a series of U's not overlapping into the puddle at all and then you'll actually pick up your travel speed by about 50 percent this particular part sometimes I do about 20 of them and they're about uh, one inch steel welded a quarter inch uh, tubing 18 inches long by about four inches and I gotta weld them all the way around and I'm looking for any way to get done I can so that's a good tip for you thanks for watching weldingtipsandtricks.com